breaking the wall of tuberculosis. Ayushi Chauhan, Falling Walls Lab, India. Good afternoon, everyone. We all know that tuberculosis is one of the most widespread diseases in the world. Only in 2020, there were half a mil 10 million infections and 1.5 million TB deaths worldwide, ma making TB the largest infectious killer after COVID-19, surpassing HIV AIDS. But the infection become lethal if the bacteria develop drug resistance. In context of TB, drug resistance arises due to point mutations in the DNA of pathogen. World Health Organization estimated that in 2018, there were half a million new drug-resistant TB cases, out of which only one third were reported. This wide gap between the estimated and diagnosed DRTB is due to the exorbitant instrumentation cost of current genotypic methods, which restrict them to a few certified laboratories. I come from India, and India accounts for the highest number of TB and DRTB cases across the globe. With 70% of the country's population residing in rural areas, eradicating the disease using these centralized equipment is an unrealistic goal. And this is the major reason that around 56% of the country's DRTB cases remain undiagnosed. To break this wall of inaccessible diagnostics, I present you the first pocket-sized device for TB and DRTB detection, which can be deployed directly to remote locations. Our detection strategy generates two differentially labeled products depending on whether the infection is regular or drug resistant. These products are directly visualized on a paper strip similar to a home pregnancy test or COVID test. The strip consists of two test lines and a control line. For TB negative sample, only the control line is seen. For TB positive sample, depending on the type of infection, either regular or resistant test line is observed along with control. In our preliminary version, we could detect as low as 2% drug resistant strain in a pool having 98% regular TB infection. This is the lowest detectable fraction of drug resistant strain in any point of care devices so far. The entire assay only requires a temperature incubator, reducing the instrumentation cost by 99.6% and testing cost by 87%, which can further be reduced. With this assay, the entire infrastructure associated with drug susceptibility testing could be fitted within a briefcase and transported to a local pathological lab. We believe that our invention would play a significant role in realizing the global goal of NDTB by 2035. Thank you. <clears throat>